I want to talk about two things today. Number one is I finally got to go to my very first Tinley Park NARBC show, which is amazing. And then the other one is I want to talk about the amazing thing that all of my patrons on Patreon were able to make it so I was able to get some really cool stuff. So start with the fun a little bit first, and then we'll get to the half shameless plug in a second. So finally made it to Tinley Park. I had to cancel the last three different trips between buying this place, COVID, as well as something going on with one of my actual fur babies, one of my little puppies. So all of those different things made it so out of the last four Tinleys that have happened, the three that I could have and were planning on going to didn't happen. So I was finally able to go to this last one. I'm not going to have a whole lot of footage of that because... Obviously, you guys have all probably watched at least half a dozen other Tinley videos, more well-produced. And honestly, I spent so much of my time being kind of overwhelmed with just the sheer volume of knowledgeable, passionate people that I spent almost the entire time just talking and listening and learning to people and learning new things. I didn't do a whole lot of filming, so I'll just straight up and just say that. But while I was there, it did provide me an opportunity to meet some really cool industry leaders, talk to people that I've already known for a little while in person, and got to surprisingly meet people from Colorado that I didn't know we were going to be there, which was really cool. But while I was there, I did manage to talk to my good friend Ryan McVay and his wife Erica that just started up their new company called VivTech, which right now they're just doing bulbs and UVB bulbs and UVA things and talking about, you know, full spectrum lighting that has really been you know, poo-pooed by a lot of like the old, you know, stuck in the mud, set in their ways parts of the hobby. As we're learning more and more that a lot of UVA and UVB is really beneficial to kind of everything all the time. So VivTech has this whole new line of, you know, UVA and UVB bulbs and a bunch of really cool products going with that. Um, and I'm not getting paid to say that right now, but these guys are really cool and I've been wanting to add, and then, you know, as I've shown on several of my videos, I'm doing a lot more larger enclosures on these racks. I'm doing much more actual like big enclosures here and the big enclosures over there. And I'm trying to put more lighting on there. And VivTech have amazing products. They last a really long time, like three years instead of like that six months to a year for regular UVB bulbs. They're really hardy. If you go check out their stuff, you'll see them do all sorts of crazy stuff with their bulbs. And they also just released this brand new product at Tinley Park. So I'm gonna show you that really quick. The smart monitor system. Uh, so what we did, decided to do is we were looking at, uh, there's so much cool stuff out there in the form of Wi-Fi and apps and controllability, and we all watch it happen in every other industry and didn't accept this one, which is kind of crazy because we all are using Govi and Ring Sense, or King Ring cameras and 19 different apps with 10 different products, and it's frustrating. So we decided to finally take it, make an app, and bring all those products into one thing. So the first version of the app is going to give you the ability to watch your animals, turn lights on and off, dimmable uh, switches to control your, your lights or your heat even. Um, and uh, we've got cameras that, we have a camera that actually senses the difference between motion, a human, or an animal. So that's really cool. Uh, it's because I've got a toke loose in my reptile room and I'd really like to know where she is. <laughs> So we've got those cameras up. They're battery uh, operated and totally wireless. So as we were, I was leaving for the expo yesterday, I realized I had baby gastrofolus hatching. So I just reached up to the ceiling, unscrewed my camera, walked it over, stuck it in my incubator, shut the door and left. And I was able to show people in real time those animals hatching. It was super cool. Um, so we're doing a lot more with it. In the future, you're gonna be able to just click into a habitat and say it's a leopard gecko and sink and it's gonna sink to the native habitat of where they come in real time. That's awesome. And we're working on so many different things to try and make husbandry easier. To make, I don't, I wanna, I don't wanna make it so that the entry level people have to learn everything to feel like they can be successful. I wanna put that knowledge into the products so that they don't have to learn everything. They can be successful and then be, get the passion going and then they'll get into it and research. And then they'll get going and get excited. Because right now, when they go to a store, there's no, there's nothing that says, you need to learn more. They sell things like complete bearded dragon kit. What about that says you need to learn more? Nothing. The whole entire purchase is you've got everything you need and you're set. And then they go home and they fail and they leave the hobby and they're frustrated and they're upset. I want them to leave with something that's not fail proof, but pretty close. And that's what we're at. That's our end game for this. So, you know, after talking with them, seeing them, I, with the money from Patreon, from you guys, I said that I wanted it dedicated to improving the care 
for the animals. It wasn't gonna be spent on little stuff for me, on new clothes, a car, on even more animals. I wanted it specifically for improving the welfare and care and husbandry of the animals. I went and got a little bit of everything from VivTech. So to start things off with, they have these three new lines of bulbs. So right here, they have the three different ones, all at different UVB outputs for different species. So the Sure Sun, this is the one that is the, you know, the, oh, sorry, this is the jungle cover. Sorry, the Sure Sun, that's the name of the bulb. Sorry, sorry guys. Um, this is the one that is more for like the crepuscular animals, the ones that, you know, that have a lot of like mottled like tree light diluting the sun coming down. So this is actually going to be going on one of my snakes that's gonna be really cool. And I'm gonna do a whole video just about that. And I'm gonna sit there and actually watch their behavior change. And I'll monitor that on the video. So it'll be a little bit of a time lapse and like a check-in one for all three of these different bulbs that I'm gonna do. So that one's gonna go on one of my species of snakes. So please look forward to that. It's gonna be really, really cool. This other one is the uh, first call. And I'm really sorry, uh, Erica. I know that you guys really like the names of these. I keep spacing on that, so I'm sorry. But this is the first call. So this is for, you know, the real crepuscular ones, the ones that traditionally were called like nocturnal, which there aren't a whole lot of really true nocturnal species. Um, a lot of them do a lot of cryptid basking, just exposing small amounts of themselves, coming out for very small amounts of time, getting that little bit of UVA and UVB. So this is actually going to go onto some reed frogs that I picked up at the show. It's one of the only animals I actually picked up at Tinley. Um, I don't have their setup entirely set up exactly the way that I want, but I'll show you the pictures and a little bit of video of these guys, you know, that I got for them. I think they're really cool. I like reed frogs, really tiny, boisterous, cute little, la uh, little froggies that are going to look really cool once I get their full setup ready, but they already have this on there and they are adapting to it. And I am seeing what they're doing. Um, but I'll have a whole video about them a little bit down the road. And then the last one is the Midday Blaze. So this one is one that I think, I think it's one of their better ones. Uh, at least not, I shouldn't say better. One of their more better, one of their best sellers. Oh, this is one that's going on a lot of the really common ones. So this is going on your Beardies, on your Ackies, on your Mastics, as well as on like your Cyclura and your... Uh, and unlike your iguanas. And so I don't have a whole lot of patrons, so I didn't have quite too much money to get a whole lot of them. But this is one that I, you know, for the big iguana cage that I just did, I want to get a huge uh, infrared heater as their actual heat. And then I want to put a couple of these on there, like on each side, and then another one at the bottom for the tortoises, which would be really cool. Although they're working on some other really cool products um, that hopefully might even be a better choice for that. Um, this is going to go on Remus our Aki monitor. So that's the first one that I'm going to put on this. Um, and again, just like the frogs and just like the snake, I'm going to do a whole video just on Remus with this. So these aren't heat. These are UVA and UVB. So you're still going to need that secondary heat source or the primary heat source in addition to this. But you know, this is only three Watts and then you have like a 60 Watt infrared. It's going to save you a whole lot of money. Um, it's going to save me a whole lot of money in the long run than like one of my big mercury vapor bulbs. So that'll be really cool. Super excited to give these a shot. I super look forward to seeing how my animals behave because I already just noticed differences between the a few that I did have UV on immediately and then the other ones that just had like halogen and fluorescent lighting on the 12 hour cycle. So I'm going to see, I can't wait to see the improvements and changes of their behavior on these guys. And then the last product that I got, again, with the help from all of my patrons, thank you so much, is the UVB Reader. So this is something that is very beneficial, but it's a little bit more pricey and costly. This measures the amount of ultraviolet light that is put out by your bulbs. We all know that there's a half-life, a very short amount of time that traditional ultraviolet bulbs do put out. This lets me monitor that. And so I'm gonna show you a little bit here. So we just take it out of the box right here just like that and actually i'm going to pull out the other i'm going to pull out one of these bulbs in just a second too um so this all you do is it just reads right here so you just put it in you press that and it'll just sit there and straight monitor the actual ultraviolet put out on where it is from you know the ground from where it's actually putting out so the livable range where your animal will be that's where you want to read and test your ultraviolet put out. And there's a whole little gradient about where it needs to be for the species and the amount that's going on there. So it's a really, really cool product. 
Um, and then, as I said before, I'm gonna actually pop these out because I didn't actually show you guys what this thing looks like other than just the really cool po uh, packaging. So here we go. This guy right here. So this is an ultraviolet light. It's very small, it's very compact, it's plastic. Um, reptiles have a really hard time breaking these things. Um, I know a lot of people like monitor people, you probably can attest to that their lizards have broken some mercury vapor bulbs. I know my iguanas certainly have, um, and even a tegu has before. So these guys are really cool. I can't wait again to look forward to doing that. So thank you patrons. I really, really appreciate that. It means the world to me. So, you know, I'm gonna continue to put exclusive content up on Patreon only for the Patreon supporters. You know, animals that I've only talked about on there, previews, heads up on things, videos in production and builds and projects that I'm doing that are gonna be put out well ahead of time before I actually put them out for release of, you know, the general populace, as well as now, thanks to you guys, I have just regular content that I will be able to produce and share with everybody because of you guys. So again, thank you so, so much. And you know, if anybody also wants to help contribute to that, it'd be super great. Quite a few different levels from a dollar a month, even further up, and a whole bunch of different rewards, including, you know, free merch, um, I'm not wearing my shirt. I'm wearing my Tinley shirt because I want to rep that was a Tinley. Um, but, you know, a couple different T-shirts every single year, other free stickers in person and uh, personal uh, video calls, tours, talks, chats, Q&As, all things like that. So thank you again so much, everybody who supports me on Patreon and honestly, just you guys watching these videos. I know I don't have the largest following right now. But the ones that do, I really appreciate it. I recognize when your screen names, your usernames pop up. I know there's going to be real interactions, legitimate conversations, real questions being asked, and people benefiting from just this weird dude with the ponytail talking about reptiles out in the middle of nowhere, Colorado right now. So again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys look forward to some really cool reptile content coming from me in the future both with this stuff and other fun projects I have in the pipeline. Hope you all are having a great day and we will check you next time.